Welcome, everybody, to this episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and on this episode, we're taking a look at TCU defensive tackle Ross Blacklock. Here's a guy that's really starting to shoot up NFL draft boards. I think more and more people are becoming aware of him. And what we're going to do here in this episode is we're going to take a look at his game against Purdue, and I want to illustrate in five clips what makes him a special prospect and a guy that I think very well could go in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Take a look at the clips. And one of the first things that I want to see out of a defensive tackle is their burst, is their ability to penetrate and get into the backfield. And we're going to see that here on this clip. Ross Blacklock is right here. He typically lines up at the one technique um, on either side. So he's usually shading the, the, the shoulder of the center. And on this play, the quarterback's going to roll out to his right. And Blacklock's able to uh, use his burst, use his speed to get through and, and get some pressure on the quarterback. As you can see, he gets to the edge right there. And once he's able to do that, he's able to burst forward and, and force that pass. That ball was thrown a little bit earlier than the quarterback wanted to, and he, that's because he sees Blacklock coming in there to get that pressure. He's able to move laterally and then just burst forward and accelerate just enough to force that throw a tidge earlier than what it wanted to be. Another thing that I always look for is if a defensive tackle is able to take on blocks, shed those blocks, and go find the ball. And on this play, Purdue's going to run the ball to the right. Blacklock's right here, shading in that one technique, covering up that A gap. And he's going to be able to come up and hold the point of attack. He gets maybe pushed back just a little bit, but he's able to basically take on two defenders. He's got his right hand on the, uh, the left guard. You know, he's taking on, but he's still keeping that outside shoulder free so that he can get off this block and make the tackle. Now, did he make that a sole tackle? No, but he was able to slow down and get the, the running back down for a very short gain, only a one-yard gain if that, um, yeah, about a one, maybe two-yard gain there. Uh, but he was able to do that by holding the point of attack, keeping his outside shoulder free so that he could go in and make that tackle. I also want to see my defensive tackles have some power. On this pass play, it's third and five. Looks like they're only rushing three defenders. And so he's going to see a double team. He's their best defensive lineman. They're going to focus on him. He's going to get a double team. And as we see here, he's the, the right guard and the center are coming to take him. He's able to use his quickness to get into the, def the lineman quick. And he's able to drive these guys back. And yeah, it didn't matter because they completed the pass. But he was still able to get some push in the pocket. And that just once again shows his power. Shows his ability to use his speed to power. Keep those legs going. And basically try, all, nearly split a double team and push him two yards deep. From there, I want to see pass rushing moves. I want to see his ability. Yes, you can get by with agility. Yes, you can get by with some burst and power. But to win consistently and get pressure in the NFL, you have got to be able to show some pass rushing type moves to get into the backfield. And that's what we're going to see right here. Blacklock's on this, the left side of the defensive line shading that, that center. And he's able to make a lateral move, take on the center, and then use a swim move to get off of him and into the quarterback. Once again, he didn't finish with the sack. But he was able to get, you know, get into the backfield using a spin move, get in that quarterback's face, you know, not a sack, not necessarily a quarterback hit, but that quarterback felt that, hey, if I didn't get that ball off just a, set, you know, a hair sooner, I was gonna get hit. And being, you know, still the first quarter, getting in the quarterback's head does matter. All right, I saved this clip for the best for last. And on this play, Blacklock's going to get a sack here. And three-man rush, so far, he, he's shown a lot of the traits, a lot of the, the skill set that you want. And he just has, you know, come up short. You know, he gets a pressure. He gets in the quarterback's face. He never really, you know, tackles a guy for a short game. Here, he's going to kind of show a little bit of everything. 
So at the snap, he's going to come off and he's going to attack the hands. The center is looking to get his hands up to stop him, to stop his pass rush. He's able to grab his hands, knock them away, get to the edge, and then he uses a rip move to get into the backfield. Now, the defensive end is getting pressure here, forcing the quarterback to have to step up, and Blacklock's able to adjust, make a lateral move to get the sack. So as we see here, swaps the hands away, rip, lateral move, and finishes the sack. I think this clip is a clear indication of the type of prospect that he can be. He shows the lateral agility, he shows the hand usage, he shows burst and some power. A lot of what you want out of your defensive tackles. Overall, Ross Blacklock can do it all for you. There's, there's every aspect of this game he does at a good level, whether it's his power, uh, his burst, his ability to anchor, his hand usage, his lateral agility, his effort. Every one of those things is a good trait. And that's why I, I have him with a first-round grade. I don't think he's this elite prospect. I don't think he's a guy that's going to go you know, top 10, not even necessarily top 15. But I think he's a guy that's at that tail end, the back half of the first round. I think he's a guy that can definitely uh, – especially a team that maybe runs a four-man front. They want some guy at you know that can penetrate and attack. He's a guy that can do it all. Um, and, and I think we're going to hear his name start to, you know, as we get in the draft, I think he's going to have a, a good combine. I don't think he's going to put up all-world numbers, but I think he's going to do it good enough. And then when a lot of the national media start to kind of hear from teams that, hey, we like this guy, I think you're going to see him flying up some draft boards um, he's in my top 20 right now, um, but I kind of think he's in that maybe you know 20 to 25 range. And I think once again, a team looking to get a a penetrating, good defensive tackle in the late first round, maybe a team that missed on Javon Kinlaw, um, is going to be very still very happy with Ross Blacklock. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. Make sure that you subscribe to get all of these videos. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at draft underscore Brian. And make sure you follow me here on YouTube at draft underscore Brian also. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.